Q episode 18. The match against Dante Tech continues. Man, that would be such a huge emotional victory. Oh, damn. Why does it feel so good? In both their faces. No tricks, just straight skill. Damn, they're one point away from this first set. Yeah. Honestly, I'm expecting Dante Tech to make a comeback, but part of me doesn't want that to happen. You know, I just want them to win. The drama is great. You know, it's exciting. It's exciting. But for the sake of my heart, I would love it if they just steamrolled them so I can breathe a sigh of relief. One more point. One more point. Episode 18, guarding your back. Is that it? Is that it? Damn! And Asahi, no less, delivering the final point of the first set. But... Wow. Wow. And that's what I'm worried about. And that's what all my dreams were crushed. Yeah, right, of course. It's sports. We can adjust. Interesting. Right, right, right. Keep him away. All the people gotta step up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a team game. He is the cornerstone of the offense, though. <laughs> <laughs> he should like fully settled into this decoy thing. He gets it. He's getting it. Well, this just fills me with confidence. <laughs> I'm ready to go. その日向が公園に回ってる間、極力無難に忍ぶのが僕の役目。いつものことじゃないですか。I wonder what's going on there. アズマネさんをロックオンですよ。it's kind of weird because he had such a dramatic entrance. He was so loud and just a little bit abrasive. Since then, he's been awfully quiet. He just gives looks. Am I reading something into that that isn't there? It was kind of a weird thing to say. Is he just being a realist about the situation or is there some kind of emotion there? No, no. No, no, this is not what I want to see. This is not it. Now to really set the whole thing up. Yep. Tanaka Loki is so clutch. They didn't even move. They didn't have time. Ooh, they're looking rattled. Coach is not looking too happy. Oh no, why do I feel like this is foreshadowing? What do I feel like he's talking about the plot? It almost feels a little bit too easy. Right, that would be maximum character development too. What happens when their best weapon is neutralized? But we can go plus ultra. You gotta care a little bit. Put a little bit more in. Damn. I love this voiceover. Eight points away. <laughs> hey, look at them together. There it is. So we just did that so stone faced. Easy points. How do they manage to make these games so nerve-wracking? <laughs> easy. Easy! Every time. Three points, that's it. Just three good plays. Is that a point? Yes. Two away. Two away. Oh no, time for a pep talk. Don't let them pep talk. Beat them before they can pep talk each other. You can't let them dialogue. Oh no, he's back. <laughs> oh no. What just happened? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Coach is me right now. These serves, man. These serves are killing me. One point. Asahi's gonna score the last point. For a full emotional victory. Jeez, that's only the first half of the episode? My god. I just have a feeling that Date Tech is gonna win this set and bring it to a third. Just because narratively there's so much that would do. It would test the resilience, their ability to adapt. Also, it would put pressure on Asahi to learn the lessons he needs to learn. But they've already come so far, it would also be really satisfying if they just crushed it from here. The serves, man. The serves just continue to plague us. Tanaka's just always there. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be him. Uh. No, Yoshinoya never gives up on the play. Damn, put his body in the line. Second chance. Oh! Three against one. No! The, the ball? The ball? No. You could do that? I didn't know you could use your foot. It's so great that it's Noshinoya doing this for Asahi too. Have it his back. This is it. This is it. And he knows his teammates. This is his total redemption right now. They just forgot about the, the game. It's all about Asahi right now. Oh, <laughs> Living in sacrifice to his bro. Oh, and the gate opens. The iron wall. That should do it. Just fall on the right side of the net, please. I don't think you got it, man. I don't think... I don't... I don't think... I think we did it! I think we just got that. Yes. <laughs> Let it all out. That's years. That's years and years of pain. Wow, and two sets, no less. They kind of made that look easy. Could they be championship contenders? Someone needs to sing Noshinoya's praises right now, though. This is Asahi's moment. This is his character development. But can we talk about his boy being there to back him up again and again? Catching him when he fell, giving him a second chance. Somehow simultaneously looking up to him as an older brother. And also being an older brother for him. What a beautiful dynamic that is. When the way you view your success and when what you want the most for yourself is to see your brother succeed. I both know and love that feeling. It's some of the, the purest love I feel I've experienced. Me feeling like I contributed in, in a meaningful way to the success of somebody that I deeply admire. Tied up in there for me is, is the feeling of relief that I could give back in a meaningful way to someone who had given me so much. It's a victory for both of them. It's pretty much how it went down, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for real, this was a team victory. Everyone showed up. Look at that, no selfishness, nothing. Just thrilled at Asahi's success. Oh boy, it's time to care. <laughs> time to care about the enemy. Winners and losers. Winners and losers. Is he saying they're going to be stronger without the current third years? Don't be so hard on yourselves. You know he's in pain too. Hey, look at this! We got cheerleaders! This changes everything. Yeah. Right, it was really important for him. It was also just amazing and really beautiful how they all kind of just put the match aside for a second for their bro. They all recognize their significance, especially after he failed twice in a row. They never give up on him. Are you more on board now? Are you more on board now to this victory? He played a role too. Yeah, so much for flightless crows. His moment is probably coming. Daichi's character is becoming more and more clear. It's about something bigger than victory for him. Oh, straight up demolishment. Demolishment. This guy. 
Okay. <laughs> right, that was only the second game of the tournament. There's a lot more coming. It's weird, but one of the great things about the show is that when I talk about the characters, I kind of feel like I'm referring to them as real people playing real games. It feels like I just watched an actual sports match. That being said, I'm impressed with how they played. <laughs> I'd say these two episodes focus mostly on Asahi and perhaps Hinata, but they're all there. They're all there and they're all doing their part. Asahi obviously being the, the emotional weight behind the episode and the stakes, which is part of what made the ending so satisfying. I mean, I think him scoring the final point was somewhat predictable being that this was his burden, his reason for quitting. And this is a character development based show, right? So it was just the most satisfying thing that could have happened for him to score the final point, despite the adversity. What I think makes it extra special though, that I didn't anticipate at all, was how much the team was behind that. It didn't feel like Asahi alone struggling through some personal history. It really felt like the team was prioritizing not the game, which they have every right to do and you would expect them to, given the fact that they just love volleyball to this extent and they've been working this hard for it, but rather to give him that support and recognize the significance of him being the one. You know, for a second, you see who they really are and where their priorities are, and it's not the game as paramount to everything. There's a higher star that they're following, and it's, it's like greatness and love for each other for lack of, you know, more specific and concrete description. I was just thinking something similar with Daichi. Daichi is following something greater than sport. He's following like maximization of personal spirit and fight and grit and strength, and that seems like like something that's radiating out to the whole team and i think where where the real stakes are for them as opposed to the you know the outcome of this tournament which is some of the air i mean as good as they are as much as it would feel good for them to win and be rewarded for their character they're on the path to winning that game regardless of the outcome of the volleyball matches themselves it's pretty stunning and amazing that we're only 17 episodes in how much they've already grown it makes me really curious and excited for what the upper limits are in their characters it's kind of terrifying actually